right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Muncie, Indiana, USA, Big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York, Iron! All right, commit the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you can see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Nice kick. Comes through with a big knee. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too because when you start reaching down to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. And you're in a lot of trouble. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice punch land over the top. Leg kick. Got the single collar tie. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Clinch. Over and over, he's landing on big body kicks. Oh, she's opening up on him now. Oh, collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. I mean, look at the commitment to the kicking in this fight. Oh, a little single collar tie there. <laughs> Missed with that attempt. Big head kick lands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice body kick there. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. And they separate. Able to check that kick as well. He's 
throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. It's very tricky to throw that body kick. Just out of range with the big right hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Right hand punches the clinch. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh! And they separate. Able to check the high kick. If your opponent has you in the clinch, Pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent. You gotta be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that chest. Oh, wow! Head kick. Oh! using his strength there to posture up and see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots to the top. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Second round underway. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice leg kick. Ooh. He lands a big elbow there. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of... Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big elbow. Just out of range with that strike. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Again, they clinch. Single collar tie now. Try to establish that jab. Oh! News hurt. Oh! Huge right hand! Fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. And really starting to make these shots count. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurting. A finish could come here at any time. I mean, how many 
can he take? All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Right, wow! Well, and, and just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. And don't be surprised to see him win a $50,000 performance bonus by the end of the night as he stops his opponent there in his tracks, courtesy of that elbow. You know it's been a part of his repertoire for a long time. Beautiful technique. He's got a lot of power with that limb, and he certainly made his opponent pay here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 18 seconds of round number two. You're playing the winner by knockout. Watch, right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.